A new partnership is shedding light on the dire need for local food in three West Louisville communities. Colin Mayfield reports on why a vacant 24-acre site could be the key to linking supply and demand. Well, there's a growing demand for local food right here in Louisville, but with the emergence of a West Louisville food hub on this site, it could strengthen production and distribution to meet demand. The idea of planting seeds here to bring this space and these neighborhoods back to life is certainly part of what it, we're excited about. Sitting between Market Street and Muhammad Ali Boulevard on 30th Street is a 24-acre site ready for development. Seed Capital Kentucky, a local not-for-profit, saw the opportunity and bought the space for $1.2 million from the city. The developers focus on growing the local food economy and supporting regional farmers bringing to life the food hub in the middle of a USDA certified food desert. Local food's not available in the ways that other kinds of food are available, industrial, you know, uh, scale food. Food and agriculture related businesses will fill the lot, including a 70,000 square foot warehouse. So we'll have uh, an aggregation business. Uh, processing business, distribution, some storage, a kitchen, kitchen incubation program. The project is funded by federal tax credits and several foundations, including government grants and private funds totaling more than $14 million. But more importantly, sustainability is a big factor for the project. About 250 permanent jobs, and 170 of those would be new jobs. And the exciting thing is that there are jobs that are going to be available to the people right here in the three neighborhoods. Bill Jones has owned and operated Dad's Muffler Shop since 1973. Whenever you have vacant land like that, land in disrepair the way it is right now, it hurts business. He believes since National Tobacco left the site, development is exactly what the space needed. Nothing builds business like more business. So if you want to get business to the West End, move some businesses in. Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Developers say crews should start breaking ground by next year. Stores should be up and ready for business by 2016.